Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going over Ruby Mine, as you can see here, launching soon in about nine hours from now. Time I'm recording this video. By the time you're watching this, uh, it's not going to be out yet. Um, it will be in, out within like the next couple of hours, so stay tuned for that. But guys, before we get into it, if you could please smash a like, subscribe down below if you are new, and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. But guys, before we get into it, again. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter, at JBKDFI, so you don't miss a future tweet about what I'm doing in crypto and DeFi before it gets to YouTube. And guys, look, I'm not a financial advisor, none of this It's financial advice. Always do your research and be very careful about what you're investing in crypto and DeFi because it's the riskiest stuff in the world. Also, if you're interested, check out the link in the description down below to the premium Discord server. We do giveaways of NFTs of whitelist spots. We do cool throughout the week. You get to see my portfolio and a bunch of other benefits. So check it out down below. Uh, also have alpha on new projects coming out and some opportunities that are coming up all that good stuff But with that being said, let's jump into ruby miner uh, Sorry ruby mine. So ruby mine.money is the url here now if you don't know what this is Yes, I know it looks very basic. It looks very uh, it looks like such a basic website, right? What it is it's a fork of baked beans now if you haven't seen baked beans before it is one of these things where you get a daily return of 8% per day but it's been running for since November last year. And the reason it's been running since November last year is because of the community behind it is so good. Now, RubyMine um, is a fork of that project. They've taken uh, baked beans and then forked it onto uh, the AVAX network, right? RubyMine, uh, sorry, baked beans is on Binance. They've then forked that and put it onto the um, AVAX network. So we're going to take a look at the white paper in just a second here. But essentially, what you do is you put in your uh, you put in your AVAX here. Um, you hire your miners, and then you can collect your AVAX, or you can go ahead and rehire. So it's very uh, it's like a glorified ROI staker essentially, right? But the difference here, and we'll read over the white paper in a second on the differences. Like the last one, baked beans have been going since November last year, which is insane. And I think that's what these guys are trying to do is go for a more long term. Now there is one thing that kind of um, that I don't like about Ruby Mine the um, uh, baked beans is good at doing but i'll explain that a bit later on so yeah essentially what you do is you come in here you put in let's say you want to put in one avax or whatever click higher miners um, and then you can start to collect your uh, your avax right you start to make eight percent per day on avax there okay now down here they have twitter they've got discord they've got telegram there um they got the contract address and they have haze so they are audited by haze by the time you're watching this the audit will be out however they've got a link they said the link will be posted um, about six hours before they go live so by the time you're watching this it'll be live anyway but just a little secret here guys um, just a little uh, yeah just a, a little bit of alpha here for you all if you want to check an audit before it actually goes live go on to hazecrypto.net okay let me move this so you can see it all right so now you can see the domains up here so what you want to do is if you want to be a little bit sneaky about checking audits before they actually publish them then what you can do is if they essentially basically what, what these projects do is sometimes they'll have the audit done and ready to go but they won't publish it for the public for a few hours before i don't know why just to uh, just to allow the timings and whatnot just to make sure it's all good but essentially what you can do is you can go over to hayescrypto.net forward slash audit uh, and then you can forward slash and this one is called ruby mine so you can just type the name in and then boom the audit is now you can see the actual audit on Hayes, right this isn't pub they haven't put this in telegram or released it yet um, but you can you can do this and have a look yourself manually just just by searching it So it's uh, but yeah, by the time you're watching this There's just a little secret and a little tip for you there. Um, you can actually see the audit before the uh, Project publishes it. So there you go Now the only issue that Hayes has said here is the system is called ROI and must be considered high risk Users principal deposit cannot be withdrawn Users get dividends and referral commission dividends paid from deposit to others always do proper do always invest with proper knowledge and investigation so that's really the only risk is that it's um is that it's uh, an roi so it must be considered high risk which of course we know that it is high risk these things are like gambling essentially so then with that being said let's take a look at the white paper white paper so they've got about earn compound fees strategy faq owners and official link so ruby mine is a resource rich mine that has just been discovered by a handful of adventures the mine extends a thousand miles and you can now lease a piece of land and hire miners that will non-stop mine ruby for you uh, so the mining after all expenses for mining you'll be able to receive eight percent of your initial investment every day uh you've got a 12 percent referral bonus there which is pretty crazy 
You've got compounding, reinvest your daily rewards to hire more miners that will non-stop get rubies out of the ground and increase your earnings exponentially. 8% fee on investment, on invest and sale of ruby, 6% to owners, 2% to marketing. There's no fee taken when you reinvest your reward strategy. A handful of experienced miners developed their most profitable strategies without ever exhausting their minds, yet each having their own mind, they work together as a team. They rehire miners six times per week and take profits one time per week. So this is how they make it sustainable, okay? They rehire miners six times per week and take profits one time per week. Taking profits too often will exhaust your mind and therefore decrease your return on investment in the short and in the long run. So it's been designed to favor reinvestment, which is uh, pretty cool there. So how does the AVAX, uh, how does the Ruby mine work? You deposit your AVAX and every day you receive, uh, you will earn 8% of your invested amount that occurs rewards throughout the day. Please note that your ROI will decrease with each ship's uh, subsequent uh, claim here. To keep your highest ROI of 8% per day, we encourage you to compound your rewards for six days and claim on the seventh day. This mechanism is built onto the contract again. It kind of favors you with uh, compounding there. But again, it's your money. Do what you like, right? What's the minimum investment? 0.1 AVAX. If you start with such a small deposit, it will take time for your rewards to start displaying on the DAP. It only goes to two decimal places. Okay, that makes sense there. Do you have anti well mechanisms? Six to one is the way to go. It's not just a strategy. Furthermore, also our anti-whale mechanism. It will ensure that our TVL constantly increases. What's the best strategy? Six to one, six compounds, one withdrawal per week. Make an action every day. If you start getting greedy and trying to save up your rewards, your ROI will decrease as well. How long will the contract pay out rewards? As long as the balance in the contract, there will always be rewards. What prevents the developers from rugging? Contract is immutable and audited. We just went over the audit there, meaning that once it's deployed and developers have no access to the contract, and cannot sell. Uh, send anything out the wallet. Can it be too late to deposit my funds? None of the contract is written to incentivize anyone. However, the impact is just very small. If you can get in early, you should consider doing it and start compounding your stake. You've got the owners here uh, and official links here as well. F website, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, and they've got Facebook. So you guys know that I come from a, a marketing background in real life, right? Some of you know that. And um, they, they, they're, they're planning to run Facebook ads. Uh, for Ruby Mike, which is going to be interesting now. I I run Facebook ads, you know, in my marketing background. That's pretty much the main thing we do, and uh, you know, in in the agency. But this is interesting that they're trying to run Facebook ads. I, I there's a lot of policies around crypto and DeFi projects, so I I'm not sure how that would work because I've tried to launch crypto ads before on Facebook, and it I don't know. Maybe they they know something I don't. Um, Twitter, they've got about hundred followers, not too much there. I should probably give them a follow. Actually, they are following me. Uh, and Telegram, they've got about 700 people in there. So a nice little community so far. I've actually been in the Telegram, um, been talking and all that good stuff. Now, one thing that I will mention about RubyMine that I'm not as favorite, that I'm not in favor of in comparison to uh, uh, Baked Beans is the fact that the deposit fee is, is, is very high at 8%. You have an 8% deposit fee, which goes 6% of that goes to owners, 2% to marketing, which seems like it's it's much higher than what baked beans is um so they've just bumped up the deposit fees here which i you know i i, I don't think it's necessary well obviously they, they want to make money as well as owners right so you, you can't blame them <laughs> but um i think if they kept the deposit fee for you know for if they kept the deposit fee sort of as as baked beans has it then they could probably you know make more long term, right? Because this may throw some people off and, and I can't blame them. But I like the project. I'm going to be jumping in in eight hours and 47 minutes um, with a few AVAX and we'll see how it goes. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in joining. But guys, that's going to be it for the video. For I'd cover RubyMine today, launching today as well, a baked beans fork on AVAX. But guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you smash the like, subscribe down below if you want to. I want to thank RubyMine for reaching out and sponsoring the video. But with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.